Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm gonna share with you a short but important tip for anyone who uses the built-in image search tool in Google Slides. Let's go ahead and take a look at my amazing sample Google Slide here. And let's say we're going to use the Explore tool to find a picture of a cat to put into this amazing sample slide. So we use Explore. I need a picture of a cat. So I'll do my cat search and we'll go to images. And now we'll see, hey, lots of cool cat pictures. And let's click on it. And before I select insert, I'm going to click on this link in the upper left corner, which is going to take me to the source of that image file where I'm then going to scroll down and make sure that I actually can use it. And I'm also going to check whether or not I need to give credit. And best practice is to give credit. So you wanna make sure you're giving credit. And you'll see here, here's more information about the license for this particular file. So that's one option. Let's go ahead and insert that. And we'll see that there's also a link back to the original source, but I want to put my image attribution information on the slide. So I may put that over here or down below, but I'm going to delete that picture. I'm not going to use that picture because I want to show you that not every image is going to make it quite so clear where to find the image attribution information. So let's use this cat picture. And again, we'll click on it and let's click on the link in the upper left corner where we'll again see the source of that image. And in this case here, it's Flickr. And we're going to see some rights reserved, but we don't know what those rights are. So let's click on the some rights reserved link and it'll take us to the Creative Commons page where it'll tell us more and remind us that yes, we do need to give attribution if we are going to use that particular image. So that's a short but important tip for anyone who's using the built-in image search tool in Google Slides. As always, for more things like this, please visit freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.